Hey guys, today I'm gonna take you along as I troubleshoot a clogged fuel system here on my sailboat. Keep watching. So, uh, so I'm in here checking on my fuel filters. After last night's little incident, uh, we had a great, great day sail heading um, over to Cambiasso and back. Pretty short ride, but really nice. And as we got into the channel to come back into Lupron Harbor, the engine quit. Um, it wasn't suddenly, it kind of just slowly bogged down and then barely hung on and um, eventually just quit on us. We were, um, by that point we made it to a safe place through the channel, luckily, and uh, it gave us enough time to get the dinghy down and um, hip tie it and we were able to get it to the mooring. A little bit of excitement, but not a huge, like, dangerous issue. But I'm trying to figure out what the problem was, and I, I suspected it might be some algae in the fuel, and I think it's been clogging the filters in here. It's behind the shower, my access to my Raycors. I have two Raycor filters, so we were on the starboard filter when everything really started to bog down. I came down here and switched this to the port filter and instantly the engine um, started to rev up as though it was getting fuel and then not even a minute later just totally bogged down again. I took these off already and I took the filters out and um, they're they're kind of dirty. Not as dirty as I would expect but um, but the starboard filter has this you can see in there it has this bit of black sludge in the bottom. Now this is empty right now because I completely drained it, but there's this bit of black sludge in the bottom that um, I think is a result of some of this algae being picked up in the tank. This is the fuel I took out of the uh, starboard filter. That's the first one that went bad. That's a lot darker and dirtier than it should be. I've opened up the second tank just taking a look in here first to make sure um, we don't have any significant growth in this tank. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It's like a little cloudy and there's certainly a little bit of something kind of sludge in the bottom but not a crazy amount. Um, but I have this little fuel transfer pump that I'm gonna uh, pump this fuel out and uh, put it in the jerry can and take a look and see what it looks like. The general announcement for the harbor. I'll let you know that there will be a movie tonight at Wendy's. They'll be playing Grumpy Old Men, and there'll also be hot dogs. So everything will get rolling between 5.30 and 6. Movie starts about 6 or so, and hope to see a big crowd there at Wendy's tonight. 30 peso hot dogs and a movie. So this, this is my good taste. So I'm going to guess both tanks have issues. You can see the stuff growing in the bottom. It's heavy in that one corner and there's some sludge type stuff here. That looks a little different, but that just might be dirt and sediment. Next day here, uh, I've had some time to, to sit and think about what to do. And here's the plan. Um, we need to polish the fuel really in both tanks but mostly in our starboard tank where it's like black and dark you, just, you can tell there's a lot of sludge in there mixed in algae fungus whatever it might be the boat is set up with its own fuel polishing system I have two ray cores I can switch between with a valve I also have um, a valve to switch between um, there's a label called line which means it's going to be a regular line into the engine or pump um, and so that pump is an external pump but when I bought the boat I had a mechanic come in for the first time give me a once over he said that pump was shot it was frozen <laughs> he also told me it was unnecessary and he said I'll just plumb it together and you won't even have to deal with it so now I realize why someone put that in and it is valuable <clears throat> now here in in loop run I don't have um, like a real good pump available to install there but I do have this little 
kind of emergency backup. This is just a $10 fuel pump I got off Amazon. All I'm gonna do is, is plumb this in line to where that old pump was, wire it up, and we'll see what we get. This thing should move 70 liters an hour. Um, and so that's like 20 gallons an hour about. I don't know why I haven't done this in the past, probably because there's so many other projects to do and this is, you know, you kind of do what you need when you need to do it. But I think um, we're gonna give this a shot. The generator is running and um, we'll let it run a while and see if we have any issues or if we start to hear it bock down with the clogged filter. But um, that means that this tank is pulling from here and it's clean and it's good. Um, <clears throat> We'll get the fuel polisher installed and set up. But right now, it's rainy, it's cloudy, and we have the generator running, which is awesome because our batteries are really low. So, ah, and Kelly has breakfast. Breakfast! <laughs> Bacon! Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. In your nighty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I've um, been trying to get this fuel polisher set up and um, I'm having trouble getting fuel through the lines. <clears throat> I actually took the canister off the main engine and I'm just trying to get fuel from where that canister was into a bucket. I just can't get any kind of fuel pumping. I changed out and put a brand new cartridge in the Raycor. So that's clear, probably a big glob of growth algae something got sucked up in there that would make sense because the Raycor filters didn't look that dirty not dirty enough to get clogged and so there has to be an obstruction now the job just got a little harder because we have to hunt that down I might have to start disassembling the fuel line from the tank back to the engine or actually back to the uh, Raycors and possibly blow air through the hose or somehow kind of somehow clear it so okay the hunt goes on uh, here is the manifold this one runs the um, the generator this is the return and that's the main and so this is the one we're concerned about and my guess is in this little 90 right here that's where we're gonna find our problem that's my first guess Let's see what happens when we take this little fitting off. Uh, we have some oil pads down below, so those are catching the fuel that's spilling. Oh yeah, looks like we have some kind of, oh yeah, look at this. Oh. That is just like a globby, nasty mess. It's like snotty. Look. That looks yeah, uh, not good. I think we sucked that up, and I think that was a problem. Oh, that that's the little thing would be it. Yeah. Well, look, it just has to clog that hole. Seems pretty easy to do, but I guess if you have clean fuel that shouldn't happen right okay well let's um i'm gonna dig around in this a little more see if there's any more in there i'm shutting the camera off because i'm a hot mess will you take that thank you all right got that put back on i'm gonna give it a shot the canister filter off of the actual engine itself and just put the bucket here. This way I can see if we're getting fuel pumping through. Okay, so now I have narrowed this issue down. That little glob that we took out um, certainly was causing a problem, but it seems to be there's another clog in that line somewhere. Just real simple, if I blow on that hose, I should, be able to blow air through it and uh, it's completely blocked up and so 
I've disconnected it in the engine room, disconnected it down here, and it's overflowing into a bucket. And um, I have this little dinghy pump here, and hopefully I can force whatever clog or gunk or muck or sludge into the bucket down here. And here is the disconnected fuel line. This is the attachment to the pump. Right there, fits right in. Perfect. Oh, whatever's in here is really stuck. Is there stuff coming out? Just liquid. A lot? No. Small stream. Wow. Yeah. We finally got all of the lines blown out. Um, we've tested the main fuel pump, the electric fuel pump, and that's pumping at least to the main engine. And then our little backup, um, that's also pumping to the main engine, although it's kind of weak, so it may be undersized for um, the polishing purposes. But um, I've now put a replacement canister filter on the engine, and uh, everything should be free flowing and ready to go. And um, we should see if we can get this main engine started back up. Um, I think that because the clog was in the main engine line, um, we were using the um, generator. We got that started today. And so um, this is kind of a big step, <laughs> getting this thing straightened back out. All right, baby. We ready? Yeah, start her up. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Good job, Arthur. You did it. Yay, Arthur, you did it. Good boy. You did it. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at the source of the problem as we clean out the fuel tanks, and we also find a proper system for polishing the fuel. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you'll get an update when we post our next video.